Hi you guys, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Welcome to Yance's Universe everyone. This is going to be for Leo. This is your bonus because I don't know what happened in y'all video. Man, man. Okay, this is y'all bonus love reading for May. This is um from now until the end of May 2021. Leo's Sun Rising in Venus. I'm going to go ahead and pull from a couple of different decks. I want this to be a quickie. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If these messages don't resonate, check back with me because they can be predictive. Also, if they don't resonate, check your other placements, okay? Cross watchers, you already know if you need to flip the roles, then please flip them. If I say it's you and it's really your Leo, then it, you know, flip it how it resonates for you. If I say that it's cross watcher and it's really you, Leo, then please flip it. Thank you, ancestors, spirit guides. Thank you, universe, for giving me a message. For Leo's, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on in Leo's love life? Please show me clear, honest messages for Leo. What's going on in Leo's love life? From now until the end of May 2021. Leo. Okay, we do have released your ex. Okay. And then we have codependency. All right. So some of you could be trying to manifest your ex back, calling in your soulmate. I don't feel like this ex is your soulmate. You deserve real, honest, and true love, okay? You guys are separated, and you're probably separated for a reason. They are going to try to come back very soon. They're going to try to come back very soon, okay? But it's saying uh, someone is controlling. Someone is very controlling. And they're telling you that you got to wait a little longer. If you do want to get this ex back, you got to wait a little longer. They want new love. They want you to experience new love. Okay? And don't try to control the situation by keep by you manifesting your ex, you know? All right, anything else? All right, if these messages don't resonate, don't take them, please. All right. For Leo, anything else going on in Leo's love life? Show me clear, honest messages. Deception. Okay? Somebody could be deceptive or wearing a false mask. Someone's not being honest. Someone's not being open. Okay? I'm hearing a don't ask, don't tell. So, if someone is like, you never told me this. And they're like, well, you never asked. Well, I didn't know the ex. That's still lying. You didn't tell me. Okay. We have codependency coming out again. And we have separation coming out again. Leo, what is going on? What is going on? Release your ex. Release that person. Okay, someone is wearing a false mask. So what this is telling me is whoever is fake, deceptive, wearing a false fa a false mask, and you can feel it and you know it, don't trust them. Whoever is codependent, has addictions, you know, um, is behaving out of negativity and things like that, don't trust their ass either. Okay, and for those of, for those people who disappear out of nowhere, who may ghost you or do anything like that with this separation, don't trust they ass either. Stop letting all these people into your life, Leo. They don't deserve you. All right, any new love? It is safe for you to love. This new love, it is safe for you to love, okay? This new love is your soulmate, whoever this new person is. And it could actually lead to engagement. This person will be making the effort with you. All right? Religious factors and keep an open mind. So this person may have different religious backgrounds than you. This person, you know, just they may look different. They may talk different, things of that nature. And it's telling you to let go of control issues again, Leo. This is your true love. I told you. This new love is your true love. Y'all, y'all, mm. okay, Leo, here y'all go, not listening again. I can say that because I'm a Leo. I don't listen either. Okay. I do listen. I do. I do listen. Show me Leo's person, please. Show me the past person. 
Show me this past person who's stuck on Leo or who Leo is stuck on. The past person that they've already dated. Show me this past person for Leo in regards to their love life. Okay. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Okay. Do you guys have a solid friendship with this person? Do you know this person? Okay. Like... Do you know them in and out? Do you know them outside the bedroom is what they're telling me to ask you. Do you know them outside the bedroom? Do you know them? Do you really honestly truly know them? Or has this person been friend zoning you this whole time is what I'm hearing. Okay. They're going to come back and ask for forgiveness. They said, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So this person has some type of resentment. Or maybe you have some type of resentment towards them for, for friends owning you. But you have to protect your peace, okay? They're coming to you talking about, I am, being, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So this person was behaving in some very negative emotions because of some type of fear. I realized that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Okay, so this person didn't love you right. I'm a being of love and I release all negativity. They they don't know how to love. At least they didn't in the past. They did not. Okay, this person was never there for you. We have service. I feel good when I can help others. All right, this person was never there for you. They never helped you at all, okay? And they left you in grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So once they finally lost you, now they want to start appreciating you. Okay? Y'all need to be friends first. And if you can't just be friends, then, then don't fuck with them. Don't fuck with them. Can't nobody force a Leo to do nothing. Show me new love. Show me this new person coming into Leo's life, please. Show me clear, honest, new love messages coming into Leo lives. New person, a new love interest. Okay. Show me this new person. New love. Okay. All right, I have indecision. So you're indecisive about the past and the new person. It says, I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. Okay? Use your intuition, Leo. This person is trying to use their intuition with you. They can tell that you're indecisive. Okay? Show me this new person. Okay? Adversity. It says, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn this person. Okay, this person may be experiencing some challenges trying to, you know, be with you, some challenges trying to get to know you, some challenges trying to love you. But they said a challenge is the way to learn, so they're not going anywhere. They challenge accepted from the new person. Challenge accepted. They love you. They are in love with you. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things and abundance. They are in love with you, and they feel so abundant with you. You can be abundant with them. It says, I am a limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. They're manifesting you. And we have happiness. Leo, why are you so indecisive? This person is patient, too. Okay? This person, you make this person happy. This person knows they can make you happy, and they're patient as well. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. I accept that everything happens in divine order. This person is very patient with you. Okay, this person could be younger than you. Shit. Okay. Show me clear, honest love messages, please, for Leo. For Leo, from now until the end of May 2021. Leo, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, someone is definitely stalking you, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. They're getting information about you. They want to come towards you and say something. More Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Expect this to be fast because someone had a judgment call. Okay, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. They want to talk to you. Someone is definitely in love with you, Gemini energy. They want to give you an apology. 
They ghosted you in the past. It could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. But this person came with a lot of drama. A lot of drama. They're going back and forth, in and out, okay? So this Queen of Wands could be you. They're thinking about you. Or this past person still has someone on the side. The Queen of Wands is the mistress. Okay, but they are coming towards you with a lot of communication. They want to give with you and receive with you. We have the Ten of Swords. There was a hard breakup in the end. But they want to renew this with you, Aquarius Energy. All right, they're coming towards you fast. But they're still going to act single, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. So this is telling me that codependent stuff that was going on, don't be codependent on this person because they might leave again. In and out energy. And then we have the Three of Wands, Seven of Wands. They're going to be going towards a, so many different people. They won't have time for you. All right, they're going to be, I don't know. They're going to leave you confused. They're going to leave you confused. The lovers could represent multiple people as well. They are stalking your ass, though. They watching you on social media. This person could already have a family. Show me new love, please. Show me new love. Show me the new person for Leo. New person for Leo. Yeah, you want the new person. Trust me. Empress energy? They see you as an empress. This is your emperor right here. Beautiful, abundant, better than the best, all right? This person says everything is fine. They've been through a lot. And it hurts them that they're not with you right now. King of Pentacles, okay, they work a lot. This is big daddy energy, all right? We do have the hermit. This person could be a Virgo. The new and past person could be a Virgo. They've been ghosted before, or you are ghosting this person, but they want to make an offer towards you. Ace of Pentacles, they want it to be long-lasting. Okay, Page of Cups, they are in love with you. They've already walked away from everyone from the past. They've been disappointed. I'm feeling like they've been through exactly what you have been through. They've been hurt before. Okay, I'm hearing don't do not hurt this person. They're very sensitive. Okay, as soon as they feel like you're playing games with them, I feel like they're going to balance the situation out. Okay, whether that be cutting you out or not. But this person is definitely in love with you. Gemini energy. The lovers has came out twice. Twice in two different spreads. Like, oh my God. Okay. This person will definitely fight for you. King of Wands, Five of Swords, Ace of Swords. I'm, I'm seeing that this new person and your past person might have a conversation. They might have a conversation. Definitely. Okay. They might know each other. But this new person says, I'm willing to fight for Leo. I'm not letting Leo go. At all. I manifested Leo. I'm not letting Leo go. Point blank period. Okay, Leo. These are the messages I have for you. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. We're going to see what happens uh, in your next reading at the end of May. Um, going into June. Because you got people competing after you. I love y'all. I'll see you guys later.